Hello dudes, it's me online, it's 10 here, back with another Windcraft quest guide. Today we are taking a look at Dwarves and Dogans Part 1. It's a combat level minimum of 91, it's a long quest, so do prepare for that, you might need some potions for this one. Find out what's happening at the theater at those coordinates. We're gonna start off by right clicking to track it. For this quest, we're gonna need one emerald block, and we are starting right outside the entrance to the Molten Heights. Since this is the first quest in the Molten Heights, I'm going to show you how to sort of get there. Basically, if you've done a Hidden City uh, or um, Cow Fusion, you've probably walked past that door right over there. Uh, Th Thea Seed is right over that way. And um, basically, if you just take the Eastern Path from Thea Seed, you'll get to this gateway. And here, what we're going to do is that we're going to enter and we'll enter the Molten Heights. Uh, which leads to the dwarven city of Rodorok, where we'll find the theater. But we're gonna have to uh, walk around a little bit. We're gonna have to enter uh, first here, and then we're gonna take to the right here. And then at this intersection, we take to the right once more. And then over this bridge, we continue. Here at this archway, we go underneath to the right. And then we continue along the path and we go to the west here. And here we have Rhoda Rock. Pretty majestic. Anyways, we're gonna enter Road Rock here and we will find the theater. We're gonna go past this um, fountain and then we walk to the back here. And then we go up these stairs and here is the bank and the theater is right next to it. And here we have Loseg, so we're gonna talk to him. Interesting to see a human wanting to see a dwarven play. The only play we're performing is the annual Victory Festival. The entry cost is one emerald block. There we go. And now we can go up these stairs and we can watch the play. Wait. Hey, it's it's so good to see you. Hello to the people of Gamble. Glad to see so many here. I hope you enjoy the play and that it, uh, and it will be very educational too. I will be tonight's narrator. Get this guy out of the way. No. No. Just sit here. No. You, I think we outran the villagers. I think we are safe here in the mountains. Oh look, shiny ores. This is like a gold mine. These nice minerals are very nice. Let us start digging. What is that? A demon? I am a dangerous monster and I will not let you mine these diamonds. We are the Dogans and we will kill you. They attack the tor poor dwarves without reason. Go out or I will eat all of you for my afternoon demon luncheon. Oh, there's a block missing. We must protect ourselves. Mwahaha, <laughs> be gone, tiny dwarves. I'm dying, I'm dying. Mwahaha, <laughs> we will kill all of you. The demon shattered our weapons. With their magic, we had no chance. We need to forge better weapons so we can fight back. Good idea, we will use our intelligence to slay the demons. A great war took place. You cannot beat us, we can summon dragons with our magic. Ah. 
Dragons are no match for us. Charge. The battle raged on for 200 years. Many lives were lost. But the superior might of the dwarves overcame the demon dogans. The dwarven race finally beat the demons. We won! Hooray! And now we have established a great citadel, Rotorok. The dwarven intellect beat the sheer power of the demon's magic. We conquered the demon city. The demons now flee at the sight of us. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show and learned something new today. We are continuing the celebration at the Old Demon City. Follow the red banners outside Road Rock to get there. Meet you all there. Ah, that was horrible. Like I said before, this was, war was a genocide. Don't believe in any of the lies they tried to feed you. If you don't remember Axelus, he's from the level 67 quest uh, from the mountains. Anyways, we are going to exit Road Rock here. And go back into the um, Molten Heights area. And here we can find these uh, red banners here. But we're going to walk up to this intersection here, and then we're going to take to the right. We go up this way to this intersection, where we take to the left. And then up here at the banner, we go up to the right. And here we are. Hey, welcome one and all, Dwarven bro brothers and sisters, guests and visitors. If I could draw your attention to the wooden stage in the north, we can begin. Welcome to the annual fe festival where we celebrate the victory over the foul demons, the Dogans. Now, if I can get you to turn around to face the bonfire, we prepared a lovely fire casting show for all of you while we prepare. Wow, I didn't know dwarves could learn such magic. Beats the heck out of, out of those firecrackers. Magnificent! Thank you very much to our firecasters now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, your attention to the main stage, please. For the last 900 years, we have captured renegade dogans that escaped the war, and this year is no exception. We shall now entomb the foul demon to join the ranks of the other dogans on display. Bring it out, guards. Note, note its magical might, its aggressive nature, its intense heat, and its fierce appearance. All no match for the ingenuity and camaraderie of the Dwarven nations. Monsters, you're all, you are all the demons here. And they turn stone. Every year, every year, every single year, uh, you, do, uh, you do this. You all need to open your uh, god-blessed eyes for once. Do you all really believe everything they tell you? Do you just lap, uh, lap it up like dogs? Our side won the war, but th does that really mean we were in the right? I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, it does not. We all see it. The, uh, the Dogans have feelings, family, and thoughts, just like anyone else here. We are in casting live Dogans for entertainment, public execution. This twisted display is more demonic than they could ever dream to be. Guards get this propaganda spewing half pint to the molten core prison north side. Come 
Come along, sir. Let's not make uh, more of a scene. And he drops a note. We grab the note. Why would Axel say something so blatantly wrong? What was he talking about? That was all nonsense. Are they really taking him to the Molten Core? You've heard the horror stories about there, right? Well, the expression, no hope blows from the north, came from there, since it's on the north side. Apologies all, I shall provide us all with a quick way back to Road Rock on the floor here. We hope you enjoyed the show despite the interruption. And there we go. So we can enter here. We're now teleported back into Road to Rock. And now we will enter the prison. So we walk up to the fountain here, and then we go off to the right towards the stairs. We go up here. Here we're going to find a sign showing us the way to the prison. The Molten Core prison. We enter. And Axel is right, is right over here. You came at the right time. It's uh, good to see you're still interested in what's really going on here. I've told you this already, but you have to know it's really true. The dwarves have been lied to for so long about the war. But I think it's best for you to see it yourself. Relying on my word alone won't be enough to grasp the full extent of this dilemma. Hopefully, I will see you soon. And we got a new note saying we need to go to the library. So, we're gonna exit here. And then we'll go back to the fountain here, basically. And we walk past it. And we continue to the south. All the way over here. And then at this fountain, we go off to the right. Over here. And then at this wall, we turn to the left. Here we can see the quest tracker. And here we are at this large cave with that door. Um, we need to blow up that door, basically. What we do is that we, uh, go down here into the structure. We go up. We climb the cannon. And here we can press that, uh, wait, no. We basically make sure that it's aligned facing the door. And then we press the green button to fire. We blow up the door and then we can just jump down here and go up to the door. Here we are. We enter and this will rise up. The animation for the top half is lost there, but anyways. We enter here. We get teleported to the Library of Flames. So we need to, uh, we can see four tombs here on the sides and then one uh, central one. We need to take each one and fight a mini boss in each. We're going to start on the left side with the top one here. We enter and we find uh, this guy. We fight him. A bit laggy right now. Once you've defeated him, we get one drop here. Soul of the, uh, the the person we just fought. We exit and we're back here. We return to the left side and now we take the bottom one here. We enter, teleported, and we fight the next guy. If you die, basically just return to the library and blow up the door again. Okay, there we are. And now we go to the right side. Start with the top one. There we are. Oh. There we are. Did we... There we are. That's the drop. Okay, and now we go back here. To the right side and the bottom one. There we are. There we are. Now we get this last one. Then we can return. And we can now walk up to the center tomb here. We can drop in all four of the drops. And it opens up 
and we can drop down here we can run through this hallway trespassers beware I'm gonna drop those and then we just do the parkour and then we climb above here and we do this parkour here as well and then this door opens up okay and we can now walk to these books in the back wait it's an extremely old book and we're just gonna top secret There we are. And now we can just walk up to this and it opens up. We can exit. Axel, is right here. Now, do you see everything that I told you about uh, when we rescued those flyers? He was indeed true. My people are tyrants and conquerors, but they are also good. The people have been brainwashed. Many things about uh, are about to happen. If you want to know more, come to house uh, number 81 in my ex. I'll be waiting. So. We're going to exit here and we're going to exit Rotorock. Just walk up this way and we pass the bank. And we walk past the fountain and we head through the exit. Okay, now we're gonna make our way over to Mike. So we're gonna walk up to the um, to the intersection up here. And then we go to the left. And up here we continue to the right. And then here we have the entrance to Mike, so we enter. And then we go up here. And then we go up the stairs to the left. The lag spike there. And then we walk to the back here. We go to the left and up these stairs. And then we go up these stairs here you can see 80 to 81 and then we follow the carpet here in this house we go up the stairs we follow the carpet up through the window it's a bit laggy in here and then we parkour along here up. Up. okay then we go up to this ladder here we walk across this line and then we can drop down onto here go through you break the window drop down here and then we walk across the rope and then we walk through here and then we go through the wall and then we walk onto that jump pad and go through the teleport okay here we are let's just uh, talk, uh, wait for Axelus to load in and then we talk to him ah you made it uh, come and meet Corsim welcome human I am Corsim this guy over here we are those who want peace I am son of the Dogen chief I've been banished the Coalition is a small group of believers in the truth. The Dogans aren't demons and the dwarves aren't all brainwashed. But of course we have to live in hiding. The Dogans won't tolerate dwarves uh, and the dwarves hunt traitors and demons. 
Right now, we are trying to convince the public, but it's proving difficult, if not impossible. It isn't 900 years ago. We have the technology and supply chains to live here peacefully, but they just won't listen. We have a plan to win over my people. That is, uh, Corsum has told us that Dragonbone is sacred to his people. Uh, we had to make some connections, but we have a way to get it now. If you want, you could come with us. We can explain more of the situation later. Exit through the back. Okay. Now we just go through this exit here. Then we get to this cave. Horsem's right over here. The others are just up ahead. I'll let you through our tunnel. I'm gonna open it. Uh, we use earth and fire elements. It's slow like us, but powerful. So we go through. Oh. And then we walk up here. Over here, near the skull. We got this drill all the way from Corcus. Axelus had to pay a king's ransom to buy it, but it's ought to work. Ah, idiot Corcus swindlers. Damn it all. How many emeralds did we waste? Ah, do you have any experience with machines? You might have some idea of how in hell to fix this hunk of a junk. So we walk up and click on it, and it explains the puzzle. Basically, we have this puzzle, we have to connect the color, so we're gonna uh, click on a color and then right click on the box to lead it to the next color. Uh, I think the blue is right over here, so we're gonna take that and lead it Come on. up there, and then the red one, it's timed. So the red one we go all the way over to the back and, and there we go Ooh, 13 seconds left okay there we are we did it and we got the dragon bone fantastic we got the bone couldn't have done it without you you can take it back to the coalition base. Barden and I will need to pack up before we join you. Just knock on the back block in front of the cave we arrived in. So we just turn around here. And we go off to the left here to this cave. I'll let you in. Of course, him will open it. And then we enter. And we go through the teleport. Here we are. And now we can uh, talk to Axelus again. Great, you got back all right. Dragon bone is one of the hardest substances in all the provinces. It's extremely rare. We're going to present this to the Dogen chief as tribute. We need to tidy it up. Could you get one repair kit from the eastern part of the base? So we go over this way into the second part. Shh, do you hear that? I'll let you in. Oh wait, there are voices behind this wall and the trail ends here. We have no vaults here, must be traitors. The king really wants to see Axelus. Stand back, I'll ready the charges. Though the dwarves has found the hideout, Axelus, you're under arrest for high treason. The king has sent for you personally. If you don't come with us, we will. Oh lord, this must be why. Dogans? He's consorting with the enemy. Axelus, they've tainted your soul. Entomb these Dogans and slay their dwarven thralls. So, now we have to fight these guys. We have some dogans to help us, but they drop a, uh, a drop that we need. They drop these things. We need to kill all three of them. Once they're dead, we take the badge and we drop through. There we are. Is everyone okay? No, ignore the repair kit. There's no time to worry about it. Our procession has been compromised. They blew our doors wide open. We have to evacuate immediately. We've never been caught like this before. They never knew we actually had Dogans on our side. We need to go safe. Uh, we need to get to safety right now. The least explored areas, the upper heights. Everyone out now. They won't follow through the uh, rough terrain. So we go through here, and here we are. We can see signs showing that we need to go to uh, to the top, basically. So we go up here.
here we are they're coming up right behind us we'll stay around here we aren't welcome in the village but bring them the uh, the dragon bone as a gift if they accept it they might accept us you are free to enter the village but we will stay back and wait until the coast is clear keep going okay and now we just keep going on this southern path here we're gonna dodge the mobs And here we can find the Dogen's Retreat. Here we're gonna walk around this first hut and then enter the little village. And here we can talk to Plario. We don't... What is that on the cliff to the south? Hey, aren't those Dogen's a whole settlement? They've been gathering forces. We must inform Roadrock immediately. Human, come talk to me now. We don't forbid you humans to be here, but please leave. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That was the first one before we... Figured it. Now we can talk to him. Human, that dwarf, he saw us. They will destroy us if he reports back to Roadrock. We need to prepare our defenses. We need all the help we can get. Wait, what are you holding? Dragon bone? Just what we need. Human, if you promise to help us, I will grant you access to our secret elevators. You can get up and down the heights with those. Please return to us when you reach level 92. Take this badge so the others recognize you as an ally. One of the elevators is to the south. And there we go. Quest completed. Dwarves and Dogans part 1. 3 million and 300 thousand experience points. 1 Dogan badge of trust. And access to the molten height elevators. So if we just go along the path here. To the southeast. And down into through this cave here. We can actually find one of the elevators right here. All you need to do is enter the. And you get teleported down. To the lower section right now we're underneath the arch right before road rock and uh, yeah that was it for this quest guide thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bring the badge for part two anyways goodbye